G'day guys, it's Michael from Sailing for Power here and welcome back to another episode of Adreno's Sydney Spearfishing Series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at one of Sydney's most common prized species, the yellowtail kingfish. When searching for kingfish, you want to look for these three key elements, structure, current, and bait. If you line up those three key elements, add time in the water, you'll eventually find the fish. Kingfish are a pelagic species, which means they live and travel in the water column rather than finding a home on the bottom. As a general rule in Sydney, you're going to find the current runs north to south in line with the East Australian current. So you're going to want to find areas that catch that current. Look for areas of coastline that jut out a little bit more than others. Google Maps and various different marine charts are really handy to use. So once you've found a few potential spots, you want to narrow your search down even further and find where that current first hits some structure. So the bigger the obstruction, the greater the upwelling will be. You want to look for things like steep drop-offs and large boulders. You can find areas like this with the marine charts where your contour lines stack up close together. As the current is disrupted by these structures, the nutrients in the water is driven upwards, attracting bait fish, and eventually will attract predators like kingfish. One of the most common bait fish that you're gonna find is the yellowtail scab, or yakka. This is one of the kingies' most favorite foods, and it's a good place to start concentrating your efforts. So before you head out there into the blue, you really need to make sure that you've got the right gear to do the job. There's nothing worse than putting in the time to put yourself in front of a fish and then missing out because you've got the wrong gear. In Sydney, I like to use a 1.1 to 1.3 meter gun. This should give you enough range without limiting your maneuverability and give you enough power to punch through a solid fish like a kingy. Make sure you have a really sharp spear and to give your gear a once over each time you go out. Kingfish are a super powerful fish and will find any weak spots in your gear. Secondly, you're going to want a float and a float line. There is a lot of boat traffic in Sydney and there is a high risk of getting hit. The float and float line will also help you fight a powerful kingfish and stop you from losing all of your gear. A sharp knife is also really important, not only to dispatch a big fish, but also to cut yourself free in case you get tangled. It's also a really good idea to have your knife accessible from both hands. Flashes are a really good addition to add to your arsenal when chasing kingfish. They come in all shapes and sizes and can be easily made at home out of old wine bags or be bought straight off the shelf. Okay, so once you're out there and you found a suitable spot, you want to unwind your flashes to a suitable depth and maybe add in a slow stream of burly or chum. Working as a team will definitely increase your chances at seeing a kingfish. Take turns with your buddy. While one dives, the other can work the burly and the flashes. Make sure you don't stare directly at the flasher. You want to look around and catch a kingfish coming in before it loses interest. Take turns shooting burly and remember, action creates action. Kingies will often show up in schools. Make sure not to dive bomb your mate if they're already down. A wounded kingfish will hold the whole school and often give the second diver a chance at shooting a bigger one. If everyone's trying to rush to school for themselves, they can spook, leaving you with only hard luck stories. Hunting Sydney kingfish is a patience game. Once you've found a good area with the key elements, have faith that you're in the correct spot and it's only a matter of putting in the time to increase your chances. Don't be disheartened if you put in 10 dives and not even see a fish. Trust me, just when you're about to give up is usually when the fish arrive and there's nothing more satisfying than getting a kingfish after putting in so many hours. Being on the doorstep of Australia's largest city, people like to keep their cards close to their chest. 
it's a good idea to find some keen divers and keep a select network to find out where the fish are showing up without exciting the whole of Sydney to swarm your favourite dive spot. Now that all your hard work has paid off and a big healthy kingfish swims underneath you, you need to know how to approach it. After spending numerous dives chasing these fish, it can be really hard to control your excitement and act disinterested. Like any fish, an aggressive approach is going to send it swimming. A calm, non-threatening dive, not directly at the fish and minimising eye contact should get you within an effective shooting range. Kingfish are known for being really good fighters, so good shot placement is vital. A shot from behind the peck fin, out the gill plate, is good to control the head from the surface. Be very wary of your lines because kingfish will fight to the death and are very capable of drowning a diver. A quick cut behind the gills will ensure a delicious sashimi grade kingfish. For me, personally, it's hard to go past some fresh king sashimi, but it's a really versatile fish. You can use it for crumbed fish, fish wraps, and even goes well in a curry. Thanks for joining us on another Adreno Sydney Spearing Special. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment with any tips that we may have missed, and let us know how you go.